Stop it, girl. Now, I got to give you your intro right. This woman is what I call temptation. Because like I said, I married 5'7", 120. But if I can fuck with 5'10", 160 like Beyonce, I'd fucking pack up and have me a sack and shit, leaving the kids like, yo, you got to understand, Charlotte Marie finding a motherfucker. She's so fine, I suck her ugly toe in dirty bath water. She funny as shit, too. She's going out of town for a while, so this is her last time in L.A. So show her some L.A. love. Give it up for my girl, Miss Charlotte Marie. What's up, players? That's some shit. Talking about fucking women and having babies. Ben, you better fucking check yourself. Because motherfuckers be looking like they're 19 months pregnant. I'm supposed to be like, mm. fuck that shit. I'm sorry. Brothers and sisters, love the men. But really, don't hate. Don't fucking hate on the girls having your babies. Okay? Ladies, right? Okay, that was totally off track. But I felt violated right there. <laughs> so it is officially my one-year anniversary of deciding I wanted to do comedy. One fucking year. Thanks. And it has been nine months since I've actually been performing. And I feel like I just had a baby myself. And it's fucking screaming. You know, I've learned a lot about comedy, myself, and other people. Comedy is fucking hard. It's really fucking hard. Let me give you a little, little rundown of what comedy's like. Ladies, it's kind of like being on that first date and you're like, that's right, brother. I'm gonna fucking take you home. God, I hope he has a big dick. God, I hope he makes me come. It probably won't happen. Guys, same situation. You're probably gonna take that girl home and you're like, mmm. God, I hope she thinks I have a big dick. God, I hope I make her come. Probably won't. But I'll get mine. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm fucking getting mine tonight. So I'm squeezing on all you bitches, all right? So first of all, I would also like to say hi to my dad. Hi, dad, coming from Viva Las Vegas. My brothers, that's right, Woody Woo. My dad is an amazing individual. Like before I left lunch or dinner or fucking the ranch or the saddle, he gave me some words of inspiration. And I had to write it down so I wouldn't forget. Focus. Okay. Focus. Fuck off because you're stupid. <laughs> Dad, you're a fucking asshole. Yes, he is. And so is my brother who said legalize gay and weed. I support it, but he's also a fucking asshole. So therefore, I'm an asshole. I am my father's daughter. Another thing that I've learned about myself going through this time is that I am from Africa. That is a continent with black people, okay? And just because I'm from there doesn't mean I know what a wild animal looks like, okay? Unless you count the homeless people kicking it on the side of the road, okay? Also, I am, grew up in Vegas. I don't know how to strip, but I can do a mean deal of blackjack, all right? Hit me up. But to kind of break it down on real simple levels, I'm mixed. German, Polish, French, East Side, and French, Liberty. Catch all that? No, okay, let me break it down real slow. German. Narcissistic. The only people that can kill off another people and think it's okay. Irish. They fuck a lot. So let these straight. I'm narcissistic and I fuck a lot. German, Polish, French. They're, they drink a lot of wine, so I'm a wino. So I fuck a lot, I drink a lot of wine, and I'm narcissistic. German, Polish, French, East Indian. Um, I'm East Indian, so they're smelly. Don't get too close to me. It's not pretty. <laughs> I know. Guys don't mind after a while. They just want to titty fuck you anyways. Uh, so German, Polish, French, East Indian, Liberian, black people. Liberian blacks, bad credit. 
So it really is hard to buy some wine fuck for free. <laughs> but most of all, what I have really started to learn is about other people. God, when you start comedy, you really learn how fucking opinionated you motherfuckers are. I don't, what do you do, sir? A what? You're in the fish business? I was going to say, I, I, that's really not nice to talk about her vagina that way. <laughs> Ma'am, 13 years? I would leave. That's some fucking bullshit. But I wouldn't go up to you and be like, hey, let me tell you how to do a fish business, clean and shit, right? So don't tell me how to do comedy, right? What do you do, sir? What, speak up? Home Depot. Home Depot. What do you do at Home Depot? You tell people what to do all day. Okay, well, maybe you should tell me what to do for comedy. But anyways, so I've learned a lot about that. So one thing is I don't understand gays. I love my gays, okay? But I'm not quite sure what the problem is with gays getting married, okay? I support legalized marriage for everyone. Because if you want a gay to stop fucking, let him get married. <laughs> right? And let's think about how it would help the economy, Weddings, you know, churches would uh, have more weddings, so income would come that way, right? Wet cake planners, like people that do the fucking cakes and shit. You have birthday cakes, little kid cakes, and lawyers with all the divorces, right? So we should definitely support the gays. Give them a round of applause and support the gays. And I do have to say that I would be bi if I could. The only problem is I don't know really how to eat a vagina. But I am all about equal opportunity. I mean, my options for dating would really skyrocket. But the way I kind of look at it now, maybe I could do it. It's not like I go down on guys now. <laughs> Ooh, of course I suck an okay cock. Yeah, I suck actually a mean cock. But you know, there's another thing I don't quite understand is I'm busy. We're all really busy. Well, if you don't have a job, you're not so busy. You're probably sitting around smoking weed. But I'm really busy. I have two jobs. I'm trying to be a comic, an actor, and blah, 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 blah. Fuck, fine, get married and have some children and some other bullshit. So I need to speed things up. So I totally go on dates, and I believe in just doing happy hour and fuck. We just got to fuck. Because the reality is I want to know if I like fucking you before I get to know you. Because nothing is worse than getting to know you, than fucking you, and then realizing I don't like fucking you and I just wasted three months of my life. Okay? I don't have those three months to waste. My ovaries are drying up. So if I don't call you back, please don't take offense. I'm on a time schedule. Thank you. Woot! So ladies, please follow my lead. Follow this new empowerment of saying, guys, drop your pants, let's fuck, let's go. No fucking offense. Let's do it! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! I know, I'm glad you guys like that, me too. But uh, you know what? I do have another long list of things that I'm going to put in here. Let me grab it. I know, was it good for you? It was good for me. I have my shit list. This little thing has been amazing because on this list also are emails and texts. I love technology. Technology is amazing. It makes things efficient. It makes things go quicker. But it also makes people a bunch of pussy ass bitches. Don't fucking fire me over email. Don't break it with me over text. Do me a favor, stand in my motherfucking face and show me you've got some balls or a vagina. All right? So let's start a new revolution. If you've got a motherfucking problem, show it to my fucking face. Hit me before you send me a text message because you're too pussy shit to tell me what's up because I will tell you what's up. All right? That's my fucking time. Woo, 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 woo. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you Charlie Marie, y'all. Show us some love. Yeah, that was a lot of passion there. I got to fuck her in her ass. Sure, I mean business. <laughs> yeah.
I'm gonna leave the pussy alone, bitch. It seems like you're gonna bite me back with that motherfucker. That was so.